So I got scammed. Again. That sucks. That sucks. So in one of my most recent live events where I was actually opening up EV Heroes, everything seemed to be going fine until I reached the second box of the break. And it was gonna be the last box of the break. Outside of the box looked fine. Wrapping was maybe a little bit, you know, loose, but nothing that, uh, you know, tipped me off. To my surprise, out of that box, I actually opened up a freaking Korean EV Heroes pack or whatever the set is called. I noticed instantly that the borders were yellow and then I saw the back. It had like kind of the English back that we're kind of more used to. The font or the wording was not Japanese. It was a devastating experience and feeling to say the least. And it wasn't my first time actually getting scammed. So really the whole point of this video guys is I want to open up the remainder of that box because not only were there Korean packs and it's not gonna be Korean. I'm gonna be actually opening up Japanese EV heroes. I want to open up the packs to number one, take them off the market. But number two, people were saying that I should be guaranteed an SR because the, along with the Korean packs, I opened up another box that had rubbed off serial numbers, which I'll show you. It's an absolute trip. So I'm just going to open up the packs to see if we even pull an SR. Did I bug out, you know, by accident? Did I you know, knee jerk shotgun, re you know, refund everyone their money too prematurely. I don't think so. But in any case, I'm going to open up these packs to take them off the market completely. Hopefully, maybe I was wrong and there is an SR in here and I was completely bugging out about the serial numbers. I don't know, but we're going to check it out. And that's what this video is about. So this is the box. This is the irregularity that I was seeing. So as you can see, uh, and just note to everyone watching if you get an ev heroes box and open it up each one should have a clear serial number that is shown below so that even this one is kind of like half off it should have a clear serial let me see if i can find one that's clear okay so there's one that's that was this was from the break from the earlier boxes this is one that's more clear so if that makes sense you see that's kind of like off and then this is what was bugging me out okay so like a little bit lighter i guess if that Okay, but I went over it in the live event. There's some that are just completely gone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of rip through these, like I said, to number one, take them off the market. I don't want anyone else to, okay, so there's a there's a V. And it's not to say that there won't be hits. And these are Japanese, okay? So these are in fact Japanese. It's not to say that there won't be hits, but from what I understand, there should be an SR, right, uh, in every box. I don't know, you know, how true that is. Some people were saying, I was reading in different forums and if, even in my Discord that they were saying that newer boxes don't have a guaranteed SR. I was under the impression that there's nothing guaranteed out of these boxes, but I, you know, I'll, I'll leave it to the professionals for that, but I just wanna look, right, okay, so like way more clear. So from my understanding, and I will say that Nick, a possum bud Nick, uh, made a really good video on this. I know that Shiny Vert made a good video on this. I know that Rock Sandy, I believe, made a, a video. So I, I believe. I know that Mimikyu Brew made a, a video on this. I watched them all and, you know, everyone was kind of saying similar things, but it just looks like, you know, they'll open up a bunch of packs and then the boxes and then they'll reseal it. You know what I mean? They'll reseal the, the outside. I don't even know how you do that. But anyway, from the footage that you saw, you know, everything looked bad to me. Everything looked sketched. Like I didn't, I didn't like how these look. I instantly shut it down. I was like, no, I'm not doing this when you will we'll see. There's going to be some that are completely wiped off, which I just don't feel like that should happen. You know what I mean? So this will be the, the proof will be in the pudding, right? Cause we're, we're, we're going to open this up. Now I want to say another thing. A lot of people were asking about the seller. Everyone was getting their, you know, their fire starters and their pitchforks and they wanted to you know go to the seller's door i the first thing i did was i did not disclose who the seller was number one i wanted to protect their identity and number two i wanted to kind of talk with them personally to understand where i'm you know where they got the box how this happened and i'm a pretty good judge of character and i'm going to say this you know right up front the seller was instantly responsive they you know he's okay perfect example look at no literally no code completely okay completely wiped off totally bugging okay but seller was super responsive instantly refunded me uh i did send him back the korean packs uh and i sent him back the other ev heroes box that i did not open he obviously saw the footage let's see this look at completely off he uh he saw the footage he was very apologetic he told me that he got the box possibly off TikTok or some sort of on. As soon as I heard that, I'm like, oh gosh. And to be fair, I didn't go out looking for the for the deal. He, the deal kind of came to me. This was another thing that bugged me out. Some of these were like really bent, like they got kind of 
you know, shove back in. Everything that I open Japanese, the packs usually are very straight and they're very like non, you know, like messed up, I guess, when I pull them out. Anywho, he refunded me all my money and uh, he was very responsive. Like I said, I determined after everything that he showed me, he showed me receipts uh, where the purchases could have could have happened and everything checked out. I think that, and I truly believe this, and I wouldn't be just saying this, you know, believe me, you know, I'm not in the business of crucifying people either because we we're all, you know, we're all sinners, we all make mistakes. I truly believe that he was being very forthcoming and, you know, telling me the truth about what happened. So I wanted to keep him completely anonymous. He, uh, he did bring me the deal. I didn't go out looking for this deal. And the sadness of the whole thing is that this was my first time breaking EV Heroes and I was really excited because I wanted to pull the Altar at Umbreon or at least have the chance to. I know I know that the... Uh, okay, so this is weird because this is this. I think this is the second one out of this box that I pulled because I'm remembering back to the break. This is a decent card. I think it's a $50 card. And again, it's not to say that there won't be hits in there because once they find the Altar, they just leave all the other packs. This is what I've heard. So they find the Altar, leave all the other packs and there's going to be other hit, you know, other hitters in there, but there's just going to be no Altar. So that's what I want to what that's what I want to you know look for here today. Anyway, I keep going back and forth between two stories. He brought me the deal. I was excited. You know, I wanted to bring it to you guys. Everything checked out. I'm not just a moron. You know, I've been doing this, you know, semi-successfully for almost three years. And I looked at the boxes up and down, made sure that, you know, everything was checking out. Whoa, aroma lady, I believe. Is that right? That's gotta be a big hitter. I mean, if they're taking out the altar, they're leaving all the other good stuff. Aside from that, guys, like I said, uh, if anything, I'm just incredibly incredibly uh you know soft and sad about the whole thing like the last thing i want is to damage your guys's trust in me or you know what i do here and this is this was a good learning lesson not only for people watching because obviously well it wasn't obvious to me at the time but there is a huge issue with you know japanese product and scamming and i guess it's happening in japan itself and there's huge incentive for obviously for them to do it because the cards are such high value i mean there's a $1,600 bill potentially hiding in these boxes a lot of times. And, you know, that's how much the Umbreon is. People are will take advantage of that. So this is a learning lesson, not only for people that have Japanese product, the people that are buying Japanese product, people that are thinking about jo buying Japanese product, and they're looking to get into this, you know, into this space, because there's a lot that I didn't know and that you didn't know, but maybe now we both know. Uh, but, but yeah, I'm going to start doing my due diligence a lot better and making sure that this never happens again. And if it does, it better be the, the best and most elaborate scam I've ever seen uh, because I'm going to do my best to not be fooled. And so like we were talking about, we, we've opened up the entire box. We got six packs left, no alternate art. Again, I don't know, you know, maybe the experts in, the, in this space can weigh in, but is there supposed to be one? Are we guaranteed anything? Is it older stock versus newer printing that gets the alternate arts? I mean, what is, you know, what's the play? What is, what, what, what's supposed to be happening here? That's, you know, that's what I'm here trying to discover. I know some people say that I'm throwing money away, that, you know, maybe the box is good or what. I don't give a damn. I want these packs off the market and I'm not like some, you know, I'm trying to be some crazy philanthropist. Like this does, I mean, this, I mean, this doesn't look right. You know what I mean? It's so light. I truly mean that. I don't want these, I don't want, and I don't want anyone to question where these pack, packs went. I have no more EV heroes. It's over. Uh, until further notice, until I can find someone that I can buy them from successfully, I suppose. But, uh, okay, yeah, I mean, and that we've gotten every Evolution V, no alt arts, but I wanted people to also see where these packs, you know, went and that they are completely off the market. All right, last pack. I, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, yeah, there it is. So, nada. And let's see, let's look at it. Okay, so there you go. Last pack. Can't even see the freaking. You can't even see the. You know whatever the barcode or the or the number. Okay. Even more so, guys. After that, although we did have a few hits, I am nearly 99.99, 100% sure that this was a full scam. Very elaborate. Very well done. Very scary for people that don't know. And uh, you know, if you don't, if you don't know how you're gonna know, I. This is this is definitely an eye opener. So take note. Uh, do your homework. I'm going to do mine and we can, you know, work and grow together and learn about this. But this is wild. This is a wild discovery for me. The Korean packs is way less creative, in my opinion, than actually, you know, washing the barcodes and then uh, and then repacking and then opening, you know, just going through them. Because I, I mean, <laughs> that takes a lot of effort. That takes a lot of effort. The other one, you can open the box. Japanese out, Korean in. Okay, that's one way. This is way more elaborate, way more um, intentional, way more, 
you know, way more deceiving, way more deception. But that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it was, you know, in some way insightful. Uh, I'm sorry to everyone who, that was a part of that break that feels any sort of way about it. I hope you guys feel whole now and, uh, and we can move forward from this together uh, to, you know, I don't know, better days ahead. And yeah, that's it for me. Hit the buttons, guys, uh, if you haven't already. I appreciate you all. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next live or the next episode. Peace out. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's time to hit the button already. Do it now. What do you think, I'm dancing for free here?